Hello everyone, my name is Gianni and today I'm gonna show you how to create a smooth zoom in effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump straight into the edit page and let's see how to do that. So here I have a clip of a time lapse that I shot some time ago in Oslo. Now to zoom in on the opera, we can go to effects, toolbox, effects and drag an adjustment clip on top of our time lapse, then extend the adjustment clip click on it and go to the fusion page. Right here, simply hit shift spacebar and look for the transform node and then add one. Excellent, let's go to the inspector and set some keyframes. So let's say we want to start our zoom in effect right here. We need to set a couple of keyframes, move a little bit forward and then simply zoom in on the opera. So for example, this could be good. Then we can move a little bit forward and let's say right here, zoom out. And go back to our initial position. Now before I preview the effect, I like to go to settings, add some motion blur, typically any value between four and six should work fine for this type of video, but of course feel free to play around with this uh, slider. And then let's have a look at the result. Okay, so as you can see, it's very robotic. Let's make the transition a little bit smoother. So let's go back to Fusion and close the Inspector tab, open the Spline tab, check the Transform 1 checkbox and then Select the keyframes and hit S. Do the same with these two. And typically what I like to do is to make sure that the lines don't go below their initial value. So let's say we are at 0 0.5. We don't want to go below that line because uh, the end result might be a little bit weird. And let's do the same for, for these keyframes right here. And this one too. And then lastly, this one. Perfect. Now if we go back to the edit page and we hit play, we'll see that our zoom transitions are a lot smoother. Great, that looks a lot better. And that's how you create a smooth zoom in, zoom out effect in DaVinci Resolve. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one.